Hey guys, what's going on? Blue Mew 64 here. We're right back in Final Fantasy 16. It's the next day from the uh, last video I recorded, but I literally just turned the game off and went to bed. My ooh items. Ooh, new enemies. Hang on. Uh, crab. Oh, it's a Megala crab. Off we go. That's it. No. Cool. Oh, <gasps> turtle. Hello, Governor. Whack. Ooh, fancy. There we go. Wow, it didn't even land the uh, counter. Oh, I see the problem. Hang on. Shoot me. That's not shooting me. There we go. Come on. I have so many ability points, I need to spend those. So the Adamantos is pretty cool, so you can't hit its shell because it's like resistant to damage there, which I think is just a pretty cool concept. You know, as a Monster Hunter enjoyer, it is something that I am very, very familiar with. Ian Garuga. Down you go. That's enough. Down you go. Okay, Jill. Sure. Alrighty. Um. Ah, and I have now discovered this whole chunk of the map, which is where I'm going. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Ooh, one of the crab. Hello. What did that miss? Boop. You're dead. It's over. You're dead. Oh, you're not dead. You're, you are now. Up you go. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do my abilities. My, oh, okay, new thing. Abilities, okay. I've read lunge, which just makes distance better. Okay. 
upgrade Wicked Wheel, which doesn't seem that beneficial to me, honestly. I, I'm thinking about Heat Wave or Anti Projectiles, because that makes it a lot stronger. Although, wasn't I saving up for the funny? I think I was saving up for the funny, right? Yeah, I think I'm saving up for the funny. Although, do I want to get charged shot? With upgrade charged shot, so you know it, it charges faster. I'm not sure how much faster it would be. I can afford this. That's cheap. What does upgrading it do? Let's you double stomp. Hmm. So it makes them attack immediately. Okay, okay. That actually doesn't seem half bad then. So it's R2 touchpad. Okay. Ooh, hello. What are we doing? What are we doing? really on that. Okay. So I can stomp, okay. I like the tortoise. The tortoise is fun. Ooh, chocobos! What? Oh my, it's like a rainbow chocobo. Also, I probably should fight you, right? So the lunge is a really good follow-up to the standard combo. Okay. Okay, I gotta see what these birds. Hello, birds. Hang on, there's a really cool-looking chocobo. Oh, it's aggressive. Oh. There's the Abbey. The darkness awaits us with an eye wonder. Let's go and see. Mmm. Wild chocobos, not friendly. 
Okay, so no, they are so the, the blue birds aren't friendly, but chocobos on their own are. Okay, I got it, I got it. And then if a blue bird engages you, the chocobos will also engage you. I wanna go talk to the um the 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 historian dude. Harpocrates or whatever it's called. What are, what are, you're different. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, new guy. Just casually spawned in. Up we go. You're dead. I think. Yeah, you're dead. Are you dead? Okay. Um, I saw another bluebird over here. Let's go fight it. It's a pretty easy fight, all things considered. Completely with that. Down you go. It's over. And you're dead. Maybe I should increase the range on my thrust. With my lunge. I guess is the proper name. Yeah, that's that's the optimal combo right there. There's a plant there, but I really want the item. Got it. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm I'm getting it. Shockwave. The heat wave is so beautiful. Ooh, another one of those guys. Another bridge, okay. You wanna go? Let's go. Too early. Bull, we don't care until the final hit, which we counter.
Okay. Easy. Doink. And I didn't aggro them perfect. Okay, I think the detour time is officially over. My uh, genocidal tendencies have been, I don't know, satiated, quenched, something, something like that. There's probably a word in that general category that fits the bill. Ooh, graveyard. Eh, okay, never mind. Did that that seriously missed? Okay. Okay, that was okay. I forgot they have a really delayed attack. Hang on. Oh, okay, Torval. Sure. Twelve eleven, we're almost there. We almost have the funny. Here we are. Depression time because I have this. This, this has been spoiled for me. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. The curse has taken them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father.
I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. I'm going to turn the brightness up just a little bit. Really, the problem is my glasses. They're dirty as hell, and I'm too lazy to clean them. Um, oh, I never noticed the uh, plants right there. I guess they never noticed me either. Take a look around, see if there's anything that I was missing before. This is a route I definitely didn't go because there wouldn't be things alive. Ah, item. I knew it. I knew it. Give me that. Alright. Anyway, puppies. Goblin? What's a goblin coin? Alright, um, I think I've explored basically everything. Uh, actually, no, I haven't. There's one area that I have yet to explore. Very small chunk, and that is right in here. I, I, out of here, I went up, so I, I haven't checked out this little bit right here. Which, there probably isn't anything interesting there, but you never know. Yeah. Ah, I knew it. Just fast travel to the obelisk to make my life easier. It was good, honest work. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. 
They're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. The slumbering chocobo. What a what a what a wonderful name for an inn. You were this right, is... Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Lots of things named for chocobos. There's the slumbering chocobo and the fat chocobo. I mean, that's it so far, but there's probably more. I just don't know of them. Oh, cool. Um, I'm probably... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make for Eastpool in a bit. First things first. Never mind, I cannot. I cannot head back to the hideaway. Oh, that's why. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. He's talking about Benedicto a few. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm 
sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Ta-ra then. We're almost there. We almost get to accept the truth. Side quests. Oh yeah. Let's delete that. Can't talk now. I. Oh, you're Clyde, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you have the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. Oh, yeah. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Let's do it. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Come on, Clive, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. called Norris to you I do as it happens he ran off that way not too long back looked like he was in a right all hurry and he had a lantern with him for some reason never known him to stay out after dark he was making for the marshes then all right thank you surprised he was so willing to talk to us you know seeing as how we're a bearer you barely have to step out your front door That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Oh, this old hut that I was at earlier and... Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Oh, the dogs. Okay. 
I remember there being bandits out front here. Hello, Norris. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. We never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. I guess there is an interesting thing about being a bearer. You know, it is still, you know, a corollary for racism, but at least here you can hide it. It's something you can hide in plain sight. Holy fuck. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really? He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. I got something for doing that. Yippee. I really don't care. I'm just doing the quest because it's fun. A hundred ability points? Awesome. I don't know if they're ability points or skill points or whatever, but I can trade them for abilities. So I'm calling them ability points. All right, sir. You look like you have a side quest on you. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck! I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter uh, fool. Now, fetch quest. Your knack, see? And I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. That's a 3k. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. 
Oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say, the ladders, right over there. All right, let's do this. Get this water crystal, or Shiva crystal, I guess, back. Oh, you can just walk off without going on the ladder. Oh, not this one. All right, crab slaughter time. Hello. Crabs eating crystal. This should be interesting. That's enough. Pretty easy quest. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. Should have read the description on that. Longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest tax paying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Quest complete. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh, and I got some wear it magic dash. All right. That's all. Of Ooh. Beast against beast. Interesting. I'll do that in a minute. First things first. To the hideaway. To see if there's any new goodies for me. Also, time is... Time to go! Okay, perfect. Well then. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's about 45 minutes. Um, if you think I should start shortening these, uh, just let me know. Um, if 45 minutes is too long, that's perfectly fine. I just, you know, felt like a good time to me. Um, if I'm wrong, feel free to let me know. Um, do the YouTube thing before I'm done here. Uh, endorphins are nice to have, uh, and you doing the YouTube thing gives them to me. Um, completely free, too. Just, you know, tap the screen and voila, it's done. Uh, and anyway, with, with that out of the way, um, stay safe, drink loads of water, spend quality time with your loved ones, and as always, have a wonderful day. I have been BlueMew64, this has been Final Fantasy 16. I'm addicted, please help, and I will see all of you some other time. Peace.